Hey there, YouTubers. I'm doing part three of a three-parter for my uh, PS3 uh, collection and the rare games I think will become rare or more expensive down the road. I'll get right into it here. First game I'm going to show is called The Orange Box. It's got a ton of games on it. It's got all the Half-Lifes on it, Team Fortress 2 and Portal. It's a great value. I remember when GameStop sold this for like $10, and that's when I picked it up. It's now $30 used or something like that. Um, keep an eye out for this because it's, it's, it's got a good, uh, good content on it. They're, the games are fun, and it's, it's a good collection. It's got a ton of, ga ton of gaming for your value, and it'll become rare and expensive down the road, in my opinion. This next game, uh, the first and second one, I have a hard time finding complete at GameStops. I see them disc only sometimes, but uh, I'm still trying to find the second one complete, and uh, I found this one, uh, and that's the Overlord series. They kind of remind me of the, the Pikmin games a little bit, but um, they're, I thought they were fun, and uh, they're not the easiest to find. I think these, these will become a little more collectible down the road. Next game I'm going to show, uh, I know Persona has become a lot more popular just recently. Um, and I'm super excited about Persona 5 coming out. This is a fighting game made by the same people that made the um, uh, Guilty Gear series. Uh, it's, it's a fighting game, like I said, Persona 4 Arena. Uh, they made an Ultimax edition, and uh, if you pre-ordered the Ultimax, you came, it came with a uh, Teddy blow-up doll and a bunch of tarot cards, which I believe those will become super collectible down the road. This came with a soundtrack if you pre-ordered. I do have the soundtrack. Um, if you can find it with the soundtrack still, uh, pick it up. It might become it might become a little more rare down the road. This next game I don't see that often. It's not expensive. I'm not. It'll become collectible. I don't think it'll become expensive down the road. And that's Quantum Theory. Um, it, I, I was not impressed by this game graphically or gameplay wise. But like I said, it's not expensive. I think it's under five dollars. I think this will become collectible down the road. And uh, rare doesn't always mean expensive. But um, for that price, I, I I'd pick it up. Next game I'm going to show, uh, this isn't, I don't think it'll be particularly rare or anything like that. I did not pay $70 for this. I picked this up used at a GameStop. Um, it's got all the patches and stuff with it and all the cards. The DLC didn't work for it, of course, which is okay. But, you know, I pay, uh, just keep an eye out for special editions and stuff. Sometimes they keep them uh, behind the counter or in a special cabinet for the employees to get first picks. You can ask. Ask if they have any special collector's limited editions used. And, um... A lot of times they won't, but every now and then you'll get lucky. And, that, and that's how I actually picked up almost all my uh, Collector's Editions uh, games. That and I wait for the prices to drop uh, new. Next game I'm going to show is called uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. They made a, uh, an HD collection with 1, 2, and 3. And then they made uh, another one. I forget what it's called. Downpour for the PS3. Uh, Silent Hill games are pretty collectible. And, and they'll become uh, expensive down the road, like just most of them, uh, in my opinion at least. Um, but that's just a, a game to look out for. This next game has held its value pretty well. And uh, I think will become rare and collectible down the road. And that's Star Ocean, The Last Hope International. I really like this game. Um, a lot of people had complaints because, you know, this is not a game you can sit down and play for a couple of minutes. You have to put down a couple of hours in each sitting. And uh, I put over 140 hours into this, and there is no level cap, which is kind of cool. I got to 100, I got to 156 in my level, and I just, I just stopped. Uh, the game is, it has a bonus dungeon. It's extremely hard. Uh, the international comes with um, some extra content, like va uh, Japanese voice acting um, and different uh, character models uh, in this, in the menu screen and stuff. Um, this, this will only uh, become more collectible and rare down the road. I did want to point out that this had an Ultimate Sith Edition. I think that will become rare. It comes in a tin case. If you can find that for under uh, $20 or under, I'd pick it up. Uh, this particular version is not rare. I'm not sure how rare this game is or how collectible it will become. I think it will become collectible. Um, if you like South Park, this is a must know. And it was a good turn-based RPG. Very funny. It made me feel like I was watching a season of South Park. Um, they made a Grand, Grand Wizard Edition, which I believe you can pick up brand new at GameStops for $40 right now. I'm trying to find one because I saw a bunch of them uh, pretty, you know, like in the last couple of months. So uh, i definitely pick that up. And then the next games I'm going to show are the Tales games. Tales games are synonymous with uh, 
uh, being collectible. Um, almost all, everyone but the Tales of Graces F came with uh, limited or collector's editions. Um, I do not own the, the collector's editions. I own the limited edition for Tales of Exilia. But um, you, I really want to get the collector's editions. And, and, and collecting Tales games is never a bad um, idea. But uh, they're actually coming out with the Tales of Zestra here in, um, pretty soon. I think it's out in Japan already. All right, and then moving over to my uh, to the last of my PS3 games, I'll just show uh, these uh, these real quick. These were first editions, first print runs of the uh, of all these these games, and Square Enix did all of them, and they just come with like an extra art book and soundtrack. And I think it's cool when when they do that. Um, actually, I found all these used, uh, except for the Kingdom Hearts 2, which I bought brand new. But if, if you can find them, I mean, I, I found two copies of this. I found one without the over over box and one with it. Uh, so people do trade them in. Just keep an eye out for them. And and to me, they're all good games. Uh, I like the Hitman games. I like Final Fantasy XX2. Uh, they're remaking that for PS4, which I have no idea why. Quit remaking games like that. It's just a, a money grab. And then um, this one's increasing in value. Uh, I still have mine brand new. It came with just an extra pen. Uh, but uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 was definitely favored by, by most people. Next game I'm going to show is called Time and Eternity. They did make a collector's edition for this. Uh, that one is pretty rare, actually. Um, I'm going to say this one isn't easy to find. This is also an NIS game you can buy for under $10. Um, like I said, any NIS game you can buy for under $10 is, is a worthwhile pickup. It's an RPG. Um, typical NIS RPG. Um, next game I'll show in is called Trinity, the Souls of uh, Zill Oil, or something like that. Weird name, only on PlayStation. Uh, it's an action game where you switch between these three characters. I beat it, so it wasn't a bad game. Um, it wasn't a great game, but it's uh, it's going to be collectible. I don't see that that many copies anymore, uh, or at all in general. The next game I'm going to show is another crossover game like Cross Edge. Um, a lot of these games I show are actually only on PlayStation, which is really cool. Um, especially the, the RPGs. If you like RPGs, PlayStation is the way to go. I'm trying to collect 360 games, and as you can see, they, it's, they don't have many, only on Xbox games, um, that I want to collect. But anyway, um, Trinity Universe was a crossover game like uh, Cross Edge. It, it's the better version of Cross Edge. It's got Prenny from Disgaea. I think it's got people from the Ulterior Iris series. Um, but... It's it's a niche game, a J Japanese RPG. Um, if you can find this one for a reasonable price, this will become rare and collectible down the road. Uh, this game will become rare and collectible on the road just because, like I said in my last video, uh, Capcom lost its licensing uh, to Marvel. So the only way you, you can play this game now is uh, to buy the physical copy unless you have it already downloaded on your PS3. Um, just, a, just a quick note. Uh, this has a dual cover on it, which I think is kind of cool. As you can see, you can switch the covers out. I really like the um, the second cover that you that a lot of people don't show off, which is uh, the cover here. But um, they did not do a great job on the um, on this iteration of Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, in my opinion, was the best. But um, this will become rare and collected on the road. It, it's shot up in value. It's like 30 or $35 used. Um, I picked this up for 20 or something like that way back in the day. Next game I'm going to show is called Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, this was an awesome game. This is, uh, again, in, in my top RPGs for uh, PS3. Even though it doesn't say it on there, I'm pretty sure this was a PlayStation exclusive. Um, but it's, it's a great game. It, it, it's held its value over the years. This, this was uh, an earlier release, and it's still twenty dollars, I believe. Um, but this is this is an awesome game that you should pick up, and I think will become rare and collectible on the road. This next game, I'm not sure how uh, expensive this will become. It's not expensive now. I think it's a rare game though, and uh, if you can find one with the poster, which I do have, uh, pick it up. 
because uh, it's not easy to find with the poster. There's the poster. You know, little extras like that I think are, are kind of cool. And when people say complete, a lot of times they just mean case, manual, art insert, and game. And uh, a lot of times they'll be missing maps or extra bonus items. So just, just be careful. Be careful because a lot of people don't even know that there's a, a poster for this game. Next game I'm going to show is called Venetica. Made by Rombax Games. This was a terrible, terrible looking and playing game. Um, it's, it's a, I don't see this game very often at all. I don't know how much this will shoot up in price, but this has definitely become a rare game down the road. It's not expensive now, so if you can find it complete, pick it up. They did make it for the 360 as well. Next game I'm going to show is called White Knight Chronicles 2. Only on PlayStation. I believe the first one was only on PlayStation 2. Um, but I like the, the White Knight Chronicles game. The, the, they weren't mind-blowing to me, but it was still a good game. Uh, this actually includes the, the first White Knight Chronicles on it. So you get two games in one, which is kind of a cool deal. Um, to me, the, the, this will become rare and collectible on the road. Next game I'm going to show is uh, Witch in the Hundred Night. Um, I bought this a while ago used. Um, it's gone down quite a bit. And you can pick this up, I believe, for under $15 or $20. But uh, like I said, NIS games, collectible. Definitely pick this one up. I actually had a lot of fun playing this NIS game. And I don't like particularly uh, gush over NIS games. But I had more fun playing this one than a lot of them. And that's pretty much it for my uh, rare PS3 games. Um, I think I own, you know, 200 and... 20 or something like that including my collectors and special editions and whatnot but um now is the time to be collecting for ps3 because everyone's trading in their games uh i do believe i said that in another video i'm sorry if i repeat myself but just just keep an eye out for uh for these games there are a ton of other games i'm trying to collect for the ps3 that i can't find complete uh but there's probably a good 100 to 200 more that i'm looking for and, you know, as you can see, I got, I've got a ton of PS3 games. Uh, PS3 was a great system. And uh, the great thing about collecting for PS3 is that um, there's are Blu-ray. And most of the time, the condition of the discs are, are going to be really good. I'm like, I've had a hard time finding good condition 360 games. And I, I, I don't understand how people destroy their games um, other than accident. But, you know, take care of your stuff. You know, the less, you, the less people take care of their stuff, the, the less copies are going to be out there. So I guess as a collector, it's good for me. But, you know, um, anyway, I, I did want to point something out real quick, just as a quick note. You can tell how old a PlayStation 3 game is by looking at the spine. Most of the time when you see PS3 going um, horizontal like this, uh, instead of vertical, uh, this will be a newer run PS3 game, and this will be an older run. If you're a trophy hunter, a lot of times these uh, these ones with the the red logo won't have trophies on them so just 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 know when you're looking you know at, at games it will it, you can you can tell if it's old or newer just by the spine but that's it for this video um i'll be doing more videos on the rest of my collections uh here in a little bit but just keep an eye out for it if you like these videos and uh, give a like and comment below if 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 you want to know anything um but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.